Hello everyone! Welcome back to episode 42 of my Let's Build series. It's so lovely to see you all here today. Thank you for coming and watching the video. We're starting off in a bit of an odd place. The mines. I don't know if I've ever taken you guys down here to the mines because to be honest, they're not very pretty, but they're necessary. See, I don't do very much mining. We have all of this OP gear, but not very many diamonds, so I decided I would come down here. I got some iron, some gold, some more coal, and kind of just restock us a little bit. And I wanted to uh, share that with you all because even though this is a let's build and I don't often share much of the actual kind of grindy areas of the game where it's a little bit more boring, I think it's important to show you that I am actually doing it because YouTube has this way of making things seem easier than they are. So yeah. Let's get started on today's episode, shall we? So, in today's episode, as I'm sure you can already tell by the title of this video, uh, we are definitely going to be doing some work underwater. And I've been itching to do some underwater work. I really, really, really love it. 1.13 has been such an amazing update, and even though I'm super excited for 1.14 to come out, I'm really still enjoying 1.13 in all of its glory. It's such a fun update. So today we're gonna, um, hang on, <laughs> let me get rid of my fortune. I don't want to be carrying that around. That's a good pick. We got our coral collector, our silk touch coral collector. And uh, the first thing we actually need to do is grab some red dye. Because I want to do a pretty conduit design over in our underwater gardens. We have everything that we need for a conduit, but we don't actually have any dye. So that's what we're getting all of this beetroot for. Let's do this, turn that into red rose dye, and then we can mix that with some of this bone meal and create pink, which is the color that we need. We may actually need a little bit more, but let me just grab these and do a good replant. I'm so glad we created this farm. It's so simple, but it really does save me so much time. I'm loving it. All right, now that our pink dye is all sorted, let's go make some concrete out of this. I also think I would like to save some for some terracotta. Not sure if I have much terracotta. Three. Oh, good. <laughs> oh my goodness. So another reason that I went underground was actually to grab some gravel for this pink concrete powder. Oh my goodness, we just made so much pink concrete powder. I actually didn't expect to get that much. Ah, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. We'll work with it. It's a oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to actually grab the conduit. That's like the most important part. Goodness. All right, and here are our eight Nautilus shells and our heart of the sea. And with that, we have a beautiful conduit. And I have the prismarine that I need here to create that. Um, and I have lots of coral for decorating as well. And we've got our coral collector here so we can grab some more. We actually need to be extending these stairs down and putting our railing on this. And then down here, once we get rid of all of this kelp, this is where our conduit is gonna be. And it's also going to be a beautiful underwater garden. And instead of aquariums under here, like we have on land, I want to do some terrariums where we'll have air pockets and lots of creatures that are normally seen on land down here. I'm hoping it'll be a really fun project. So I'm gonna get started on clearing all of this area out of kelp and actually picking a center. Well, maybe I can actually pick a center now, actually. Let's see. I've gotta make sure we've got it. So this right here, this is our center line. Okay, perfect. Oh goodness, I don't have respiration. I'm a drone. <laughs> I need to get this conduit up before we actually design it. Okay, there we go. This is our middle line from our palace and then I think right around here, just on the edge of the coral reef, fairly far out, we will build the conduit. And I want the conduit to match that of a garden. And you guys have left so many fun suggestions. Everything from an octopus to a clamshell to a castle to a king, it, everything, everything, everything. But there was one suggestion that stood out from all the rest, and we are going to build that suggestion here today. And that suggestion was to create a flower that would match this garden theme that we're going for. And I thought that was such a clever idea and way of thinking about it. So that's what we're going to go with. 
Now, let me build this up so that it is high enough and it is centered right about here. That should be high enough there. Now it's time to build the conduit. I'm gonna be so happy once this is in place so that we can finally breathe. Oh, drowning, drowning, drowning. <laughs> oh, the struggle. Okay, our conduit goes right there. Let's destroy this block. There we go. I can breathe. Oh, thank goodness. Now I wanna get lots of range on this, so let's get a good coating of prismarine all the way around it. And on the edges, oh, I actually did it wrong. <laughs> Hang on. You get rid of this. Oh, I love the particle effects. It's so pretty and fantasy-like. Really sparks the imagination. Wait, no, I didn't do this wrong. What am I talking about? I'm going crazy. All right, this is perfect. Now all I have to do is clear out this area of kelp. Don't worry, we're going to be adding in lots more life but I need to be able to see what I'm doing and this kelp is just kind of spammed randomly around at this point. So it's time for me to make a big laggy mess of entities. Okay, now that I've littered kelp all over the ocean, <laughs> it's finally time to come in here and fix up these stairs. I've been waiting on this for a while. They've been kind of driving me nuts. Okay, this boat also really has to go. Let me park you over there. Whoop, <laughs> that boat is glitchy. Now it's just time for me to build down all of these stairs. This is going to be so pretty. I love the idea of having this. This is something that I wanted to do all the way from episode one. I knew right when I started this world that I wanted to have staircases leading down into the ocean from land. Just a perfect smooth transition acting like the water wasn't even there or wasn't a problem. I just think it, it just adds so much and it really connects the land and the sea together. All right, there we go. There's our staircase so far with no railing on it. And here's the straight path all the way up to the conduit, which is gonna be our centerpiece. All right, now let's start thinking about what we're actually going to do to this conduit. The suggestion that I got in the comments was to turn this into a giant flower to really match with our gardens. So the first thing I'm gonna do is build it up a nice little stem down here. We can of course decorate this a little bit better eventually, but let's get the main idea and shape in. Oh, <laughs> that's completely off center. What am I doing? All right, so that's sort of like the little stem of our flower. Now coming out from this right here, we're gonna have the next part, which is, uh, hang on, <laughs> right here and here, it's gonna build up like so. Now I need to be breaking this as I'm going. There we go. Yes, so we're gonna have different colored pink petals on this flower. I love the idea of doing that. I think it's gonna be so adorable. Let's get that and this, and then let's break a couple more of these. There we go. So that's sort of the idea of the first petal. And we're going to have about eight of those coming out. Oh, <laughs> that was so glitchy. I think that's the elytra and the swimming not getting along. So then we're going to have another one coming out here, for example. We can build this up like so. And then maybe droop it down again. Like that. That could work. Oh. I love building organic things like flowers. They just make me so happy. And of course, I wanted to throw in some coral. So maybe in a spot like right here, right about here, right in the middle of this beautiful pink concrete, we could do something like that. Yeah, so the coral fits in super well with all of these beautiful pink blocks. And we'll just sort of alternate the light and dark, but let's get in these light colors first. And we're gonna have to do the concrete at sort of uh, different levels each time. All right, so this is kind of what we're looking like so far. Oh, and I almost forgot. You know how these fancy, big, beautiful flowers have those pollen areas on them? I forget what those are called. Uh, I knew it. Let me look it up. This is gonna drive me nuts. All right, so progress report from Google. Apparently the part I'm talking about is called the stigma or the stamen. I, this is from Google and I didn't bother looking up proper scientific sources. So I could be wrong, but I'm sure my comment section will correct me. Regardless though, we are going to build up that part of the flower. 
this part right here. And I think yellow coral gives us that such a nice pop of color. Oh, I love the coral block. Have I said that enough times yet? <laughs> I feel like I really haven't told you guys how much I love coral and prismarine yet. Yes, that's definitely going to make it look more like a flower. Let's drag that down. One more block right there. Oh, it's looking so much like a flower already. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the petals in and I'll bring you guys back in once I have completed the shaping. All right, everyone, I have finished the flower. I'm so happy with how it looks so far. We have a lot of cleaning up to do in this area, but I'm really happy with it. And look, I think the fish are happy too. Let's head over here and show you guys what I've done. So the thing that I really love about this design, as opposed to other designs that I thought I might do, is that you can actually see the conduit. So I think the conduit is so gorgeous. Like it's just so beautiful. And it looks like a, a magical crystal inside of our flower. I love that. I can't wait to decorate the rest of this area. Speaking of that, I suppose we should definitely get started on that. Let me go grab some more dark oak wood so that I can line this in a nice railing. I think I'll do full blocks along the stairs like this and then stairs just on top of that. And then maybe some pillars to make it look like it's supported? I think? <laughs> I suppose we'll see. Let's uh, build this up and see how it works. Yeah, that totally looks like a nice little railing. I think that'll work perfectly. As I'm doing this, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you guys for all of the amazing, kind, supportive comments that I've been getting. I was just reading through all of my comments again just to pick out a comment or question of the day and it's so hard to pick one out. You guys are all leaving so many amazing suggestions and you're so kind and I don't want to choose from you. I want to pick you all. <laughs> But unfortunately, that's just not practical and we don't have that kind of time. But seriously, thank you. I promise I do read all of my comments. I really appreciate them and all of your fun ideas that you have for this series. It's so cool to see that we're inspiring each other. Like, isn't that such a cool cycle? Like, I get to inspire you guys by recording this and then you guys comment and inspire me or send me art for inspiration or whatever it is it's just it's such a fun cycle i'm so glad i have this beautiful little community all right let's get this built up like this so i wanted to do something a little bit differently right here because i don't want a railing going along here so it kind of has to transition into this staircase and i think doing it a little bit rounder works maybe we can grab some slabs though and put those right there yeah, that definitely works. Makes it look like it's going straight downwards. Beautiful. Okay, now we need to work on the path. So the path is going to be birch wood. So I better just take a whole bunch of this. I'm probably going to need even more. I'll just put it in my inventory. Oop. And we should get some sleep since uh, not quite enough torch spam to stop all of the mobs from spawning yet. <laughs> Especially in this garden area. Goodness. As I come down here and begin building this path, I'm actually going to read today's comment or question of the day. Today's comment or question of the day comes from Anna, who says, So many torches, lol. For different rooms, you should definitely do bedrooms and a library. Maybe you could do a gallery hall or room, and if there's a good place to put it. Anyways, great video. It was a good way to relax after school before studying. I'm so glad my video was a great way for you to relax, Anna. Oh my goodness, look at all the fish. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I am so happy when all of you uh, say that. That's a comment that I get quite often and it makes me so happy that you guys are able to come home from school or work or whatever you're doing and just relax and sit with me in this world. That makes me so happy. So, as for what Anna was saying, and a bunch of the rest of you, you all commented so many amazing things that I got inspiration from, but Anna's really gave me an idea because she mentioned the gallery hall. So, I was thinking we could do some more of those paintings that we did, like, in the ballroom, but we could do, like, a whole hall of them, like, it's very epic and royal, and then off of this hall, you have a bunch of doors that all lead to different rooms, because we do need a bunch of different rooms, like, obviously we want to do the epic rooms, like a library and a grand bedroom for the queen, but we also need simple stuff, like a potion brewing room. 
So I think that might be a really good way to lay it out, and I think I'm going to kind of think on that inspiration chain for a little while and see where my brain takes me. So thank you all so much for the inspiration. You're so helpful. I love getting to ask you guys for advice on what I should do because you always have the right answer. This birch wood looks so fantastic as a path in the sand. I don't even care. So many people really hate on birch wood and the birch logs and stuff like that, but I really like this color. I think this is fantastic and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's a skelly dude down here. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? This is a funny little hole. Alright, I'm gonna fill this up. This is dangerous in our garden. There we go. That's better. What was I saying? <laughs> the skeleton completely distracted me. Huh. Oh no. Oh, yes. Birchwood. Birchwood. I love it. I love that. I mean, look at this palace. Look at the colors. It's all birchwood. I think it worked wonderfully. That was like one of my things for this series when I started out that I really wanted to do. I really wanted to use blocks that other people don't use, like granite and birch. And of course I threw in some prismarine, which is my favorite block, but I chose these colors that like, they don't really work together if you think about them, but we, we made it work and I'm really loving the palace so far. Another comment I've been getting a lot recently is about people who started the series a little bit late and have been recently catching up to us. So everyone who is doing that, thank you so much for binging the series. I can't even imagine. I feel like when I first started this series, I don't know, I guess me looking back on it, I like, I can't bear to listen to it. Like, I think it's so cringy. I don't think I was as good at it as I am now, but I mean, that comes with anything. You obviously, if you do this type of thing for a, a long period of time, like I've been doing it for about six months now, uh, it gets easier and that's wonderful, but I can't believe some of you started back all the way back on episode one and have caught up with us recently. That is so cool and I love getting those comments. So if you're new to the series, welcome. I hope you're enjoying it. It's lovely to have you here, all of our lovely new friends. How wonderful. Okay, so this path Kind of rough, but it's in place, right? We get the general idea. Now I would like to grab some sea pickles and line it with some very pretty lights. We're not gonna do the terrarium today because, uh, to be quite frank, I just don't have time. <laughs> I really need to study and I kind of put off uh, recording this. If you guys can't tell, you probably can. It'll probably go up a little bit later than normal. Uh, but hopefully it won't. Maybe I pulled it off and you guys have no idea other than the fact that I'm saying it out loud right now. If that's the case, uh, I need a pat on the back. Good job, me. Because <laughs> this is really late. I'm recording this right now. It is Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. Normally, on Wednesday morning, I am getting ready to go to class. And, uh, normally... Oh, I should get rid of these torches out of my hand. And normally, I, uh... I'm editing on Wednesday so that I can get the video out, but now I'm recording on Wednesday, so we'll see how the editing goes. I think I'm going to probably edit tomorrow morning and then get it up right after I edit. Oh boy. <laughs> Might be pulling it close. I need my sea pickles. Where'd they go? Ugh, I think I left them in my storage room. One moment. These sea pickles are such a cool addition to the game. I am loving them. Oh my goodness, like aren't they just so cool as little candles on top of these pillars? I think that adds so much to a world having this extra sources of lighting. I actually wish there were more sources of lighting in the game. I'm so glad they're adding lanterns in 1.14, but I think we could do with even more sources of lighting. Because realistically, the best sources of lighting right now are going to be the lanterns and the sea lanterns. And sea lanterns are hard to get, so I feel like we need some other alternatives to glowstone because glowstone is nice, but it's not nice in every scenario because it is such a noisy texture. So yeah, something to think about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do gaps of eleven probably work here? Yeah, I think that'll be good. So we won't have too many of these, but just enough to kind of light the path. Obviously we have the conduit down here, but I still think it's important. Oh wait, is this centered? This is totally not centered. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, let me get this in place and I'll bring you guys back once I figure all of this out. 
All right, so here is our beautiful underwater path to our gardens so far with our conduit design. I think this is pretty cool and I think our dolphin friend would agree. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. Hello, dolphin. I love this game. <laughs> All right, let me head up back up to the surface because this is where those sea lanterns Or sorry the pickles make a really big difference See our whole path is lit up and we need some more around our flower But that is definitely really good for right now And once we get some more structure and benches and stuff down there, we'll do even more All right, everyone it is that time of day once again where we need to name some fish and place them in the aquarium. I don't know where our other fish have gone. I assume all the way to the top. Does anybody know why my fish only like the top of this aquarium? What the heck? I have so much fancy stuff down here and you guys just want to be up here by the nether portal. <laughs> Go back down! Oh my goodness. Um, they're going down now actually. Maybe it's just because uh, the chunk wasn't rendered or something. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's add some more fish to that party that's going on up there. First, we have Kaylee Luna. Second, we have Moen. I hope that's how you say that name. I'm really sorry if it's not. And last but not least, we have Shayla. Now, I did promise in the last episode that I would do six in this episode because I missed them before. So let's go get three more and pick out some more names. All right, I've picked out the next set of names for our aquarium. I think we're getting close to filling this up, sort of. They all go to the top, but if they didn't, I think we have, <laughs> yeah, I think we need to start adding in puffer fish and stuff like that. Some different types of fish, the codfish, the salmon. Oh, there's a spider in our palace. That's not good. Okay. Anyways, first up to be added to the aquarium in this set is Mr. Finn. And then we have this beautiful fish named Zoe Rose. Isn't this color purple just a wonderful? I've never seen a tropical fish like that before. So welcome to the aquarium, Zoe Rose. And our last fish for today, oh, what was your name, what was your name? <laughs> Charlotte. Thank you for all of the wonderful name suggestions, everyone. I'm loving getting to do this segment where I add in these fish to our aquarium. It's really starting to fill up, so thank you. All right, with all of that done, I think that's where I'm going to end it today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and relaxing and building our little underwater conduit. I had a lot of fun, and I hope you did too. I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!